When you walk into the bamboo villages alongside the river in West Hunan or step into the mountain wilderness of Guizhou, you will be deeply impressed by the ancient and special warm welcome known as the Block the Way Wine. Before a guest arrives, friends and family will come out to the mountain road that the guest is taking. They will set up tables at every 10 meters. On the table is fragrant and sweet rice wine. The tables are lined up along the road, serving as the blocks of wine. When the guest arrives, girls standing beside the table will hold up wine bowls and sing songs inviting the guest to drink. This is the welcome wine, also known as block the way wine. Delicious wine, beautiful songs, and the charming smiles of lovely girls. All these are impossible to refuse. So, the guests drink all the wine that is offered. Unfortunately, this is just the first table. From the foot of the mountain to the village entrance, there are usually 13 warm blocks. If a guest can't drink much, by the time he enters the village, he will be terribly drunk. This village is the Miao village, and the people of this village are the people with the longest history in China. The Miao originates from the Juli period, the time of Emperor Huan. At that time, the head of the community of tribes was a hero named Qi Yu. He ruled large areas around the lower reaches of the Yellow River and Jianghua Plain. At that time, two new tribes were rising up on the lowest plateau, the tribes of Shennong and Shanyan. Since Qiyu from Jilu was the most powerful, Shennong and Shanyan had to work together if they wanted to defeat Qiyu. War at Zhulu is a famous story from Chinese history. The three parties at war were Emperor Huang, Emperor Yan, and Qi Yu. They are the three heroes of that period. Because Emperor Huang and Emperor Yan joined forces, Qi Yu was defeated. In the Miao village, when important events take place, people can see bronze drums and witness bronze drum dances. In ancient times, people also used wooden drums covered with ox hide. The origin of this type of drum and the drum dance is recorded in historical documents related to drumming to have joy at funerals. At funerals, all of the relatives come, play drums, and sing songs and create a joyful atmosphere. People dance and play with no trace of sorrow. In some areas, the Miao have an annual sacrifice called Return to Mount Tai. Mount Tai, the origin of the Miao ancestors, is very dear to the Miao people. Mount Tai symbolizes the great contributions made by the Miao to the whole nation of China. It also expresses people's love of the home and family, and also celebrates the everlasting soul of Qi Yu. After thousands of years of changes, Miao people now live in Guizhou, Hunan, 
Yunnan, and Hubei. In historical records, the sects are differentiated as White Miao, Black Miao, Red Miao, and Skirt Miao. This categorization uses clothing and color as elements of differentiation. Though it's not scientific, it shows that there are different sects of Miao people. The modern Miao people preserve their ancient culture deep in the mountains. For the Miao, the most serious and mysterious festival is Guzhang Festival. Miao people admire their ancestors and believe that the soul is everlasting. Everyone has three souls. One of them will go back to the east, the origin of their ancestors. One protects the family's graves. The other one will live in the shrine. In Guzhang Festival, they will offer sacrifices to ancestors by killing oxen. In this way, they invite the ancestors' souls back home to have dinner with the family. Only once in 13 years can people have the chance to see this festival in its entirety. The festival usually chooses a day in October of the lunar calendar, and it must be in the year of the tiger. All guests gather in one place, holding their sacrifices and dressed in festival costumes. Then they go to the appointed place to invite ancestors to eat guzhang. When night falls, they slay the ox. Before killing the ox, the elders in the family will tell the story of the ancestors' journeys and hard work of the water buffalo. After the ox has been slain, they drink a toast to the ancestors. Then they have a big feast and dance the drum dance and the lusheng dance. The dancers are old and young, male and female, and people from any village, from any household can join. The festival usually lasts for 15 days. The shortest ones are at least seven days. Every March of the Lunar Calendar, some Yao villages beside the Qingshui River in Guizhou will have a special festival called Sisters Festival. A long time ago, there were lots of beautiful girls near the Qingshui Jiang. They led very happy lives and all these beautiful girls were single for quite some time. The girls gathered plants and spices in the mountain and made a kind of sticky rice. It's very colorful, and it's called sister's rice. They invited young men from the other villages to eat the rice. In this way, they all found their lovers. After generations, this beautiful story became a traditional festival.
The Sisters Rice in the Festival is made from the black rice leaf and yellow rice flour found in the mountain. They use them to dye, soak, and steam the rice. The rice can be pitch black, gold, jade green, sky blue, and snow white, and tastes delicious. The Sisters Festival is not only a festival for girls, but also for married women. Married Miao women must go back to their parents' home on this day and celebrate the festival with their own families. During Sisters Festival, old and young, female and male, all go to the Qingshui River. They play drums, sing songs, and dance the Lusheng dance on the grass and on the beach. You can see crowds of people everywhere. It's really festive and great fun. Even in a crowd, the Miao girls attract a lot of attention. They gather together, wearing costumes embroidered with various patterns, including flowers. On their heads, they wear silver ornaments. When they're walking, the silver ornaments will make pleasant sounds. Silver ornaments are a very important part of the Miao people's clothing. They include silver head crests, silver flowers, silver combs, silver robes, silver pieces, silver necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. They are stylish and beautiful, made with excellent craftsmanship, and have deep meanings. In olden times, when a girl is married, she had to walk a long way to her husband's home. Along the way in the forest were lots of beasts and other dangers. The bride's parents made sets of silver clothing that shone so brightly that the animals were scared away. Actually, this is only a fairy tale. In fact, the Miao tradition is that sons can inherit property while daughters cannot if they are married. So how can parents give their married daughters something valuable? The silver clothes are very big gifts from the parents. A nice set of clothes can take over 15 kilos of silver and cost anywhere from 10,000 to 100,000 RMB. Adding in the cost of craftsmanship, these clothes are quite a gift. Since silver ornaments are in high demand, the social status of a silversmith is reasonably high and silversmiths are well respected by the people. Silver manufacturing is a unique and complicated craft. It requires a pair of deft hands and inspiration to complete. Fine silver ornaments can be as thin as a hair, so one needs to be extremely careful when working with it. A complete set of clothes is made of 30 parts, which all together require over 100 separate procedures. With hammer in hand, a blowpipe in their mouth, and with the use of complicated molds on the table, every piece of silver is struck by the silversmith, heated, and struck again until it becomes a beautiful, shiny ornament. In the Miao language, the silver crest is called Shu Jing. Shu Jing is made from very thin pieces of silver. They are pressed and molded into the shapes of flowers and birds, then welded together. On the forehead is a peacock spreading its feathers. 
On the two sides are two dragons competing for a pearl. Below the forehead is a silver drape. On top of the crest and on the back side are many silver pieces, mini bells and flower buds sculpted with different patterns. Wearing the crown, the girl will make very beautiful sounds when moving. The necklace is called Kuang Wong, made of a thick silver stick with four edges, thin on two ends and thick in the middle. It's twisted into the shape of a square prism and then connected at the two ends. Kuang Wong usually weighs 200 grams and the heaviest weigh about one kilo. Aside from this, they also have shoulder cushions, shawls, silver belts, silver buttons, silver chains, silver combs, silver hairpins, and silver sticks. Among them, the silver mini bells are the cutest. The bells are called birame in the Miao language. They look like bronze bells often seen hanging from the ceiling of a temple. At the opening of the bell, there's a silver hammer. When the body moves, it makes joyful sounds. During the festivals in the green and picturesque village, along the ancient lanes grounded with stones, people will often come upon beautifully dressed Miao girls. Their elegant movements and silver clothes all give an impression of purity, and you feel like you are in a dream. When lots of Miao girls are gathered in the center, dancing to Lu Sheng music, you feel like you are drowning in a sea of silver. From generation to generation, Miao people lived in the depth of the mountains, enjoying the picturesque scenery. Nature gives them inspiration and wisdom. The Miao buildings on the steep mountainside, the bridges over the rivers, and the amazing patterns on the beautiful Miao girls all reflect the magic of nature and the harmony between human and nature. Miao women are good at needlecraft. This is an old saying from ancient times. When you step into the Miao villages, you come into a world of embroidery. The patterns on the girls will make you feel as if you're surrounded by lucky animals, flowers, and green leaves. Miao embroidery is a very strong national character distinct with totem signs. For example, red Miao have dragons and phoenix as their seal. Colorful Miao make their living by breeding silkworms and making silk. Thus, the main pattern on their products are butterflies. Other patterns include fish, shrimp, flowers, and grass. You can enjoy much just by looking at the embroidery. <笑>你知道这个有多少个折组成的吗 <laughs> of all Miao embroidery, the most famous is the bird dress. It has sky blue, green, and red as the background colors, and different patterns are formed by mixing these colors. According to legend, the patterns on the bird dress symbolize the east, where their ancestors used to live. The waves refer to the Yellow River and the Yangtze River. Big flowers are the capital, where Chi Yu lived. The cross-colored stripes are the crop fields. 
the dots are crop fringes. It's no wonder that some fashion experts are deeply impressed by the bird dress and call it a meow history book on the body. The patterns on Miao embroidery are closely connected with nature. It is said that in ancient times, there was a Miao girl who was very intelligent and hardworking. Every day, she would go to the mountain with needles and thread. Even during her break, she would embroider. Whatever she saw, she would reproduce with her fingers. One day, she went to the mountain to cut firewood. On the way back home, it snowed and the snowflakes were scattered on the girl, just like beautiful pictures. The girl was so happy that she forgot to go home. She put down the firewood and started embroidering the snow patterns. The clothing that she made with the snowflake patterns became the most beautiful among the 100 villages. In the Miao villages, a skirt or a bird dress takes a long time. When a mom has a son, she has to work for years and years to weave and embroider so that she will have a gift for her son's future bride. Miao girls are all good at needlework because they learn the craft from their mother and sisters in early childhood. Generation after generation, the ancient culture of the Miao is recorded in their colorful clothing. The Miao doesn't have its own written language, but the stories of their ancestors and heroes are all written on the girls' clothing. Just like an endless epic or a history book without an ending, the culture is passed down from generation to generation. Another symbol of Miao culture is Lu Sheng. Some people even say that Lu Sheng is the life of the Miao people. As a matter of fact, wherever Miao people go, they always have Lu Sheng with them. The ancestors of Miao people immigrated to the west along the Yellow River, Yangtze River, Qingxiang River, and came to Bala River to stay. There is a Mo family village in this mountainous area. A Miao Lucheng artist named Mo Yanshui lives there. Mo Yanshui's older generations were all good at making Luchengs. He himself has made over 10,000 Luchengs. Lu Sheng has a beautiful story behind it. In ancient times, six young men were guarding the grave of their father. They were so sad and couldn't think of anything else. Six beautiful girls came to console the young men and danced with them. They danced and danced till the sun set. When the moon rose, they found that the bamboo trees in the forest were singing too. The six young men cut down six bamboo sticks and the six girls drilled six holes. When they blew into the holes, beautiful sounds came out. From that time on, Lu Sheng became a part of their lives.
Lu Sheng has fixed tones and rhythm, and whenever the Lu Sheng sounds, dances will follow. The Lu Sheng dance is a group dance among the Miao people. People dance to the rhythm and beats of the Lu Sheng. Their movements change according to the music. There are twirls, marches, forward and backward steps, and dancers also imitate peacocks and wild geese. Nearly every Miao village has its own Lusheng Hall. During festivals, young Miao people will organize Lusheng music and dance groups to visit other villages. This is also a good opportunity for the young people to compete in Lusheng music and dance. In important festivals, during the Lusheng competition, the young men's Lusheng skills in dancing will win some girls' hearts. Some happy marriages can be traced back to this romantic moment. As a tradition, the opening music of every Lusheng competition is smooth. The girls dance elegantly. They dance to the music, two hands protecting the chest, stepping one step forward, then two steps backward. This reminds people of 5,000 years ago when Shi Yu was defeated and the ancestors of the Miao left their homes. Women were holding babies to their chests. Soldiers were helping the elders, leaving the old motherland and walking to the unknown depth of the mountain. After a few pieces, the music gradually becomes very powerful. At first, it's like war songs. Then, it's like a carnival spree. The Miao has survived 5,000 years of change and thrives even in our modern times. Their brave ancestors crossed the Yellow River and Yangtze River. They climbed thousands of mountains and valleys and protected the spirit of their culture. The splendid culture was thus brought to the skyline and into the depths of the mountains. Even today, when people cross over the mountains and come to the Miao villages, they can imagine people dancing and celebrating with the gods. The Miao scenes from thousands of years ago seem just like yesterday. <laughs>